You are now listening to the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now I have been asked a question recently, quite a few times actually. How strong do I think Alpha Destiny would be if he were a natural athlete? <laughs> now, see, the thing is, if he were Natty, how strong would he be? <sighs> he would probably be, allegedly be, as strong as the trolls who are triggered by every video that I make, the fanboys out there who believe he's actually a natural athlete. And how strong are they? Well, mentally they're not strong at all. They've been defeated, destroyed. So with that said, weak mentally and physically to the point where you're gonna go ahead and do something like, I don't know, uh, take some uh, alternate fuel sources, possibly, allegedly. Hmm. Right? You see, people need to understand one thing. Why do these people feel the need to become Mr. Olympias, top lifting athletes? Because they want to be more in something, right? That's why you do something, it's a challenge. But then the challenge itself gets distorted when the person realizes that they just don't have the genetic potential of a one of a Damien McLeod or I can't think of anyone else who's natural. I don't want to, you know, make myself look like a liar, but I know that I'm natural. So when they say to themselves, well, I just can't live up. I can't compete with the Damien McLeod. What should I do now? Well, take performance enhancers. The UFC, the NFL, the NBA, the Olympics, tennis, cycling, I mean, you name it, every boxing, every sport across the board where they have people who are elite, who perform at a level higher than anyone else. Wait a second, I'm, this, <laughs> time out, time out from the video. I'm looking at this picture I have right here. I'm telling you right now, I didn't do this on purpose. The picture on the left, he has full eyebrows. The picture on the right, he doesn't. Wait a minute. What is going on? <laughs> Wait, time out. Time out from the video. What is. What are those on the right? What are those? Alright, um. Like, you know, hey, do, 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 do like they say, do whatever <laughs> makes you happy, all right? <laughs> Holy shit. All right, <laughs> all right, back to the video. So, bottom line is, um, how strong do I think he would be naturally? He would be like everyone else in the world before they decided to go to that next level and taking, you know, alternate fu alternative fuel sources. All right, that's how strong. So, if you really want to know, go look in the mirror. How strong are you? If you're a natural athlete, you know what I'm saying, and you don't lift in your genetics. I mean, you might you might lift a little bit. You know, there's always guys in the gym who lift, but they you know might not be pushing themselves hard enough. Might not have the right workout plan. You know, regular Joe, you regular Joe out there, how strong are you? That's how strong he would be. You know, a lot of this amazing stuff, you see 605 pound Jefferson pull, even though that's the easiest of the pulls to do, you know, um, yeah, I mean, come on, man. When people, like I said, a fanboy of his put a post in, um, on my video the other day, I forgot exactly what he said, but my response went a little something like this. No, he goes, how do you know he's on something? And I said, when someone comes out, and they're performing a lift at like the top 2% of people can do, they're showing off. You know what I'm saying? That top 2% 
of strength out there that's done because something else is going on in the background get what I'm saying you don't just wake up one morning you don't just go to the gym day after day after day and just put yourself into the top tier of lifting knowing that in this genre of lifting there are guys who take a lot of freaking you know things to get there and you just naturally wake up one day off because your program is just so amazing that now I can do it too so what does that say about the guys who are taking stuff who are doing the exact same thing? You know what I'm saying? Give or take a few pounds. You know, there might be a guy who's six foot two, 240, who can obviously lift more at an elite level because he's a bigger guy versus an alternate version of him who was, was natural is not going to lift the same amount as that top tier guy, you know, his clone who's taking stuff because the stuff you take makes you you know lift more obviously come on people wake up it's like explaining this it's so simple yet it's tedious yet it really doesn't even matter because a fanboy is a fanboy is a troll and you're gonna no matter what he can come out today and say f all you guys i've been doing this that and the third and the fanboy is gonna say oh slap me harder slap me harder i still love you <laughs> <laughs> Slap me hard, these motherfuckers. Alright, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. You know, I'm still on this Alpha Destiny thing. Um, it's funny, you know what I'm saying? I'm this one arm pull up, chin up, strength tutorial. Really? Just do some pull ups, man. Go work on your biceps. Get in the gym, like I always say. Do some work and you're gonna muscle up. Alright? Now, you're not gonna reach that top tier elite level. Of kidney failing athletes <laughs> whose bodies are destroyed inside to, to, you know to get to that level where they're doing that you're not gonna get there but you're gonna be a damn strong individual of your on your own merit on your own merit I'll say it one more time on your own merit meaning what you can achieve naturally All right so don't expect to be in that top percent and you don't want to be in that top percent you don't want to end up in a box because of the things you stuck inside of your body. You don't want to end up in a hospital with all kind of illnesses that come from taking these substances. It's not worth it. Remember what your goal is. You want to be a badass motherfucker. You want to be like Damien McLeod, a natural athlete. You want that strength and that power, that raw grit. You can take two weeks off the gym and go on a vacation on an island and come back and still have your muscles because they're not dependent on injections they're just there once you get it you got it once i got this i have it i actually took off the gym for what three months just to rehab some shit i did to my shoulder and i barely lost any strength <laughs> come on you lose a little bit of oomph you know what i'm saying you got to get revved back up a, a couple of workouts Give it a week, week and a half, and you're back in the game. You get yourself fueled up, proper diet, whole foods, like I always say. Good amount of carbs in you. You're right back in it. And guess what? You're back in it in a healthy way. You don't have to go in and say, okay, I need to get on uh, uh, whatever the hell dot com and buy some of this stuff. Hope, hurry up and get sent here so I can inject it. So then all of a sudden, now I can be a beast. I mean, come on, nothing is special about you. Everything special about you comes from a bottle. It's, it's garbage. It's garbage. People, listen. There is more out there than liver failure. All right. You can. There. There are things you can do as a natural athlete that that fake natties can't even do. I'll name one of them. That's most important. Live a long, healthy life. All right. All right. Now you might not be rich from doing that. Well, actually, you can hustle and grind your way into something because you won't, you know, you'll have a, a, a good mindset. You'll be confident in yourself. You don't have that monkey on your back saying, take these injections right here, but don't take too much. You don't want to get gyno. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you know what I'm saying? You know, I just want to throw my opinion out there once again. The people like what I'm saying. You know, you like to hear what I'm saying. And I understand why. Slowly getting my weight up in this game. The takeover is coming. You smell it? That's the smell of my enemies. 
crumbling to their knees, shouting on themselves in fear because Damien McLeod is here. Something in the video right there, a little, a little theatrical just to keep you guys laughing, but um, it is true. So, remember, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I'm subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym, do work, and muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only son? Put the phony niggas on the bar. Say my name, watch bitches come. Now fire when ready, stay watching now.